Within Job Tracker, use the Operations tab to review the operations required to manufacture the part quantity on the current job. Click on each operation node in the tree view. The selected operations details display in the Job Details Operation Details Sheet. This field here displays the sequence number that identifies the operation. These numbers use increments of 10. The operation field displays the operation that will be performed, for example, turning, shearing, or sawing. The operation standard field specifies the default setup and production estimates, for example, per piece standard. The Quantities and Dates section shows the planned production, scrap, and run quantities this operation produces. The section also displays the start date and the due date for the operation. The Labor Reporting Resource area defines the scheduling resources that are used for setup and production. The Quantity Parent specifies the quantity needed to make one unit of the parent assembly part. The Setup Per Machine group box specifies this operation's preparation time. It displays both the estimated and the actual hours for the setup time. The Production Per Machine group box specifies the rate at which this operation produces parts. The Final Operation checkbox indicates that this operation will be used to calculate the job completion quantity. The Added Operation checkbox indicates that this operation was not included in the original estimate. It was later added to this job. The Scheduling Factors section details how this operation is included in the schedule. The Scheduling Blocks field displays how many resources this operation requires to run. Typically, each operation uses one resource but you can split a job across resources. The Scheduling Radio button options define the relationship this operation has with the preceding operation. Start to Start schedules this operation to start as soon as the preceding operation begins. Finish to Finish schedules this operation to end at the same time a preceding operation ends. Finish to Start schedules this operation to begin after the preceding operation ends. The Auto Receive into Inventory checkbox indicates that labor or receipt transactions against this operation will create automatic receipts to inventory. The Alert on Completion checkbox indicates that a global alert will be sent when this operation is complete. The Setup Group specifies the group you use for the operation schedule on the scheduling board. Each group has a priority value. The higher the value, the higher priority this operation has during scheduling. Lastly, the Serial Numbers required from this operation checkbox indicates if serial numbers should be posted after completion of this operation. If so, then users will be prompted after the production to post serial numbers. If the serial numbers required from this operation checkbox is grayed out and unavailable, this means that the part being manufactured is not set up to track serials. And those are the fields on the operations detail sheet. Review this sheet to see current information about each operation on the job.